was a well, first of all, I was having problems at home with my daddy. I didn't like seeing my mama without. Mm. I love my mama, man. I was a mama's boy all the way up. All the way to her death. Love mama. Yeah. And but she would never accept my money. Like I go out and steal, come in, say her mama. She said, I don't want your blood money. Mm. And if she think I done stole it, and if, and and uh, uh, from uh, somebody that she she gonna make me give it back, mm -hmm. and she'll call the police on me. She was cram, she was zero tolerant for any of that, right? And my mama, she uh, retired from Fairdale High School, mm. so she retired. So my other sister Joyce, she retired from the military and from Ford. Oh, Ford Motor Company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she living, I just talked to her today. She living in a house built from the ground up. Most of my family got their houses built from the ground up and stuff, right? So I was the one running around stealing. And, uh, but I wasn't real, I wasn't what you called uh, too big. Mm -hmm. I wasn't violent, like hurting people, shooting people, nothing. I was just seeking attention mainly, right? Yeah. And I got it. And the police, I used to pick at them, uh, steal a car, see them somewhere, run straight into them, see if they can catch me, right? They never could. You so know. you did it for the, for the rush? For the, for the rush and for the fun, you mm -hmm. know, not trying to hurt nobody or nothing like that. But when they called up to me, they said, we're going to put them in prison. How old were you at this time? 14. So at 14? I went to jail. Okay. And at 15, I was in jail, and I turned 16. When I hit prison, I hit prison at 15, just turned 16. Mm. Now, a lot of people, like I said, it's documented. This is, this is how you can find out if I'm telling the truth. The Courier Journal newspaper, when, I, when, when they uh, sent me to prison, because I was the first juvenile, and it was against the law then to send me, but they did it. I didn't have no support. What did you get? What did you get in trouble for? What did you get arrested for? Stealing. So it Stealing was just a car and, and robbery. Um, robbery. And they the 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 article in the newspaper, the Courier Journal newspaper, the first day I hit prison, they came to interview me. It said, "16-year-old prisoner wants to get out and go straight." That's what the headline read, front, front page of the career journal. Uh -huh. Now, I had my friend up in Indianapolis, she's a policeman. She, she got that article, so I know it's still there because she yeah. got it, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, I went to prison. Uh, At 15 years old? 16. I 16, 16 years old? Yeah. And you hit prison. So, you yeah. was in prison with grown grown folks? Grown people. People that have been in there for 20, 30 years. For armed robbery and... and yeah. Yeah. And, and it's like what I had at the time that I went, I had two brothers locked up in there. Mm. Two cousins and some, some hood dudes right yeah. that I knew. So I knew I was straight then down uh, LaGrange, right? I was in LaGrange Reformatory. So I got to fight in, uh, you know. How I, long did they give you? How much, how did, what did they say? 12 sentence? years, I only had 12 years. They sentenced you to 12 years? 12 years sentence. At 16 years old? 16, sent me to penitentiary with 12 years. And Were you uh, afraid? Hell yeah. What you mean? Well, man, my arms was that skinny, man. I ain't have no muscles, no nothing. I just had a, a lot of hair and stuff. And there was a guy in there, big old, big, big nigga. Nigga had a big afro. Back then, they was wearing afros. They yeah. had nigga built. But every time I take a shower, he comes in there. See, they showers were like two showers, one on this end, one on this end. So you're so, a 16-year-old kid in prison. With grown big, well, I'm freaky grown men. Let's, let's, let's get, let's keep it straight. Some freak niggas, right? Uh -huh. Freak niggas. Niggas ain't had none, and no telling how long. They want it fresh. They want it young, right? Mm. And I'm, I'm in the shower. I, I picked up on it, and he was over rubbing his soap all over his chest, just staring at me like that. So I'm like, 
fuck is wrong with this nigga, right? So mm -hmm. I look this way. So every time I turn around, this nigga look at me like this. And I seen all them muscles and shit, right? Then I look, I said, hold on, is this nigga hard? You know, his shit is out, right? Mm -hmm. So I came out of the shower, man, and I went and told some of my friends, and she, they said, oh, that's Big Reggie, man, Big, Big. I said, nigga, I don't care who he is. That nigga look like his shit was hard, bro. He's staring at me. Oh, nigga, you. Every time, man. And then one day, I was getting out of the shower. When he came in, I, 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 I got out and said, nigga, give us start this shit, right? Mm hmm so he never said nothing, he just... Nah, he'll make grunt noise, make me look over, a nigga say, <clears throat> I look over, he be rubbing his chest, stirring at me and shit, right? <clears throat> so I get out of the shower, seriously. I get out of the shower, and like I said, I was skinny. I was yeah. skinny as fuck, damn, a little skinny on um, that little ass on me, you know? So this nigga get out, and he walked past me, and I'm thinking, he bumped, he bumped into me. And I felt his, his, his shit hit, hit, me, hit me on the side of the hip. He said, oh, excuse me. I said, hold up, man, I, that nigga shit, his dick, done the, it, 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 it touched me. So I said, man, I got to do something, man. He said, uh, you need anything from the store? Now, you don't even know me like that, bro. They asked me if I need something out of a store. Now, I know where your man's at now, right? <laughs> you ain't even talking, do I need something out of a store, my nigga? <laughs> and so, I said, all right. So, back then in the grain, they used to have out of commissary, tang jobs, right? Uh-huh. Made out of glass. Everything now is plastic now, cause inmates are using stuff. The glass like is a weapon and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I sure use it at one, cause I went over and I broke it, my hands are shaking. I said, man, I don't even know if I can go through with this or not, right? I broke the glass. I said, <sighs> so I walked back in there. I think I said, if he touched me, let him touch me. Just don't walk in there and hit nobody, right? So, uh, he was doing his hair, slutting that big afro and nigga was Born it out, he said, hey, I ain't say nothing. He said, you. I said, who, me? I had the glass up on the towel, right? Yeah. I said, what you want? He said, uh, can you, uh, he said, when I do my hair like that, can you put a, a rubber band on there? I said, no. Man, I had to put, I don't give a He said, what you mean? I said, no, man, I, I, I'm not putting shit on there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He said, grab my hands and then like, he, he just, he said, they smooth. This is in the shower? No, this is in the shower room. He's not still in the shower, he's yeah. out of the shower. See, when you come out of the shower, they got a little uh, platform right here where you can put your stuff up on and they got murals. Yeah. You look in the mirror and comb your hair out and all yeah, this yeah. stuff. I got you. It's kind of like a locker room. Man, I stabbed shit out of that nigga. I, I cut him with that, with that thing and, and, and ran.